It's the time you've all been waiting for. It's glossy, it's got cult fans, and it's full of fun. It's Olivia's Rack. That's right, Zach. Let's start things off. Uh, yeah, seriously, wait a minute. Like, I know this is called Olivia's Rack, but guys, boys, bring the cameras up. Thank you. Much Aww, better. Thank weak. you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's so much better. Let's start things off with the comedy issue of Premier Magazine, which features a cover story on my favorite comedian, Steve Carell. Yeah, and uh, it definitely covers his bee allergy, if you can't <laughs> tell in those pictures. There's an article in there. Um, it's a great read with some really juicy stuff on Steve. Like, did you know he hunts furries in his spare time? I didn't. Yeah. And didn't uh, he also just hit $175,000 per episode. That's it? <laughs> oh, poor guy Chunk needs a new change. agent, right? Definitely. Uh, he needs your agent. You make a lot of money. I do. I can he tell drives by the a hair. Prius. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I actually loved him in The 40-Year-Old Virgin because it really reminded me of myself. Uh, what, the virgin part or the bag of sand? I am still a virgin. Oh, that's right. Pure and until the right yeah, movie comes along and you definitely. really need the part. Do you love Steve Crow? I do. I think he's fantastic. And he I, I is. thought he was great in 40 Year Old Virgin. And the problem is, I get him confused with Stephen Colbert all the time, which what? there's no excuse for that. That I, is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. They, well, you know, it's what I do. There are two white men named Steve. There you go. Awesome. Easily <laughs> confused. Next, we're taking a look at the must list from this week's Entertainment Weekly. Smoking Hot Ashley Judd and the screenwriters of Superman Returns are among the list of the 113 people and things we love right now. The list even includes the sexy Cylon ladies of Battlestar Galactica, some of our very own. Friends, wow. and highlights the genius of Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> I didn't know he was a genius, but now I do. He was. It also has a must look back at the stars we miss. Wait, you don't know Pee Wee Herman was a genius? <clears throat> Talking chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the genie in the box. What about the, the breakfast machine from the with Pee Wee's Big Adventure? You know he had like now the Rube Goldberg device it, that would make him breakfast? Now I think about it, our show is very much like the Pee Wee Herman show. It really <laughs> in is. In a very odd way. I want that awesome bite, I too. know. Um, yeah, sorry, your um, you're Superman lady's not in there. Oh. With the no teeth. I know yeah. you like her a lot. That's, that's, my, that's my callback. Let's bring her. <laughs> okay, well, everyone, this is an issue. It's called Modified Mag. It is straight from the Formula D beat. This is my beat, you know that. This is an issue that features a tricked out 2004 Honda S2000 that screams hotness. Holler. Holler. The article details every step that the racing team took to fine tune the drifting. Now, so this car, mm -hmm. the, the, the S2000, you were saying earlier that it's, it comes off the line almost ready to drift? Yeah, it's basically, I mean, you really can't have a drifting car like out in the streets, but this is basically sure. the closest you can get to, you know, a drifting car to drive around. Are we going to start seeing more of this because uh, cars coming out well, that, that are designed think, for that? Well, I think that, especially when you watch Fast and the Furious 3 and a lot oh. of people are doing it now with Formula D, people just want to do it so they get out there and might as well have a car that helps you along. Yeah, sweet car still couldn't take a Subaru. Just right. saying. Maybe we could race later. 91 octane, Olivia. Awesome. Premium. You're pretty hot, Kevin Good Pereira. Stuff. All right, now, uh, you guys, if I couldn't be drifting, I'd definitely be surfing, and I love this month's Surfing Magazine. Check out the article that shows surfers around the world using the power of Google Earth to locate untapped world-class surf spots. Why are you laughing? It is a I great did. idea, and the pictures are ridiculous. No, that's cool. That's I'm, uh, even. I'm, Go ahead. Yeah, okay, even better, <laughs> Kevin, you should. You need to read this. Even better, if you can find a new hotspot, the magazine will actually send you there. I just, is that really truthful that people are using Google Earth and literally clicking yes. around and going like, oh, that looks like a spot I haven't surfed before? Well, and okay, right now, surfing, like everyone, there's so many amateurs out there trying to surf, and Hawaii used to be the place. Now Costa Rica's the place. Really? Because what about Myrtle Beach? I'm going to move on. Okay. That's move really on. embarrassing. Right, I haven't next, heard of this one before. Next, this is the special. Yeah, I'm sure you have, it's actually. Fun. It is High Times, this magazine. It's August Hashfield issue. It definitely doesn't disappoint. Flipping through, you'll find an interview with Tommy Chong, without Cheech, of course. That's all right. And Chong opens up about the time he spent in the big house for allegedly selling water pipes. Dude, the dumbest thing ever. The dude sold some bongs online. Like, whatever. Our prisons I'm are overcrowded. Definitely that was overcrowded. It was actually a good thing for him, right? Well, he points out in the article that his arrest and time in jail actually helped him get a lot of publicity. There you go. Yeah. They should really make the covers out of zigzags, though. Like, like you know, so that when you're done, you're crumbling, I, you just roll it I, right up. It's great that just, you know the label of the papers. Like the, like they have them at 7-Eleven. Uh, it's oh, next sure. to the That's Slurpees. what you get them for? All right, and finally, Star Wars Insider. Nerd alert. Yeah, nerd alert. This mag, this mag plays to people's scary obsession with a franchise, but really, it's the fan art in the back of the issue. <laughs> it's what's most concerning. Take a look at Bantha Tracks. It's a feature that shows off nerdy artwork. Yeah, I guess some of the artwork isn't too bad, but um, it's like kind of like when you're in sixth grade and you, you submit your best picture in, the, in art class and they get it into the book. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. Right the, 
Can we wait? Can we? Is there anybody? Did you see that? Oh photo? yeah, the picture of Anakin. Was, was that supposed to be Anakin yeah. before or after he was charred by molten lava? Because <laughs> I love that he drew in the um, or he or she drew in the wind blown in his hair. I like it. It's it just looks sexy. like it looks like the kind of thing that you send into the newspaper to win a gift certificate at the local mall. It doesn't. And you've done that, I'm sure. I have done that. Actually. <laughs> That's not my Anakin, but it's still a cool photo. Maybe Good you job. submit one. I will. We'll submit one together. All right. Awesome. I'll do the shading. On the upper lip. <laughs> okay, everyone. And that's my rack. Check out attackoftheshow.com for a recap on this week's list of magazines. You can find all of these issues at any major bookstore.